Forks is a book by Stan Nichols. And now Stan Nichols had a very interesting idea. And that idea was to show a story from an orc's eyes. Uh, we're speaking of the Lord of the Rings orcs, or essentially orcs like those. There are many different kinds of orcs throughout many different fantasy settings. Uh, if you've read Lord of the Rings, think of those orcs. That's what this story is essentially based off of. The orcs characters, I mean. Uh, and Stan Nichols claims to have written a story showing the other side, showing what it's like through the villain's eyes, and that they're not really villains. They're just misunderstood. Now, honestly, that was just... it's just not true at all. That's the biggest criticism of this book I have heard, and it is 100% true. And it honestly is the biggest criticism I have of this book. I, I'm surprised the author made that claim when you can superimpose humans over every single character that's an orc in this story, and the characters will remain unchanged in every way. They have no qualities that make them different. He just essentially made a, a group of rowdy humans and then put the label orcs over them and gave them orc names. And that was essentially what this book was. Now, if you go into it expecting that, I don't think it's going to be a very good book for you. And I think that's why a lot of people were kind of disappointed with it and why there are so many negative reviews for this book. I actually think it was a very good book. Not the best, but I thought it was a very good book as a fantasy book. If you can get over that and, and just think this is just a book telling me a story, a fantasy story, instead of this is a book trying to show me a story from an orc's eyes, I think it's very good. It was very well written. Uh, the author explains combat very well. It's very easy to understand what he's talking about. And it's just very well done. The book flowed nicely. It, it, ca it caught me a lot of times. I would just want to keep on reading it after I, I'd stopped. I would go sometimes like a hundred pages a night. Um, not very often. It took me about a month to finish. It's a seven hundred, seven and a half or so, seven and a half hundred page book. Pretty large. And it's the first in a trilogy. So that's going to be a lot of work if you really want to finish it, which I currently do. So I'm, I'm going to have to get the others here now and go through those too, so that's a lot of work to get these through. But that's not really a complaint or anything. A book's a book. Um, I'm a little hesitant to recommend this book to people, and I usually don't like to recommend books to people in general. But I would say, if you like fantasy books, it's a good book. If you... If you're not sure if you want it, or maybe you've heard some negative reviews about it that bog your opinion down, just try reading the first chapter or two. Go to a bookstore, like Borders, Barnes & Nobles, whatever. Pick it up and just read the first two chapters or so. I honestly was... the reason I bought it is because I read the first three or four pages, and I really liked what I'd read so far. And that's why I bought it. And, see, the difference between me and most people is I bought it under the expectations it was just a fantasy book about orcs. And I guess... Just my opinion. Most people didn't like it because they expected this to be a story from an orc's eyes. Showing their hardships, all that stuff, and it, it, it wasn't. You won't get what you expected, if, if that's what you expect. But it was a nice fantasy novel. Um, to quickly summarize the story, it's about the main character, Strike, who is uh, the orc leader of a war band. That is Strike, this lovely fellow right here of about 20 to 25 orcs or so, and one dwarf, who is one of his sergeants. And they work for essentially an evil sorceress queen that has enslaved the whole orc race and a few others to work for them. Uh, and she sends the band to go and retrieve a magical artifact. They go to get the artifact, get it successfully. They knock themselves out with a large amount of drugs they find, and then get the object stolen. They proceed to go and get the object that was stolen. And at this point they realize maybe it's not a good idea to go back to our queen. She doesn't have a very good track record with people. She usually kills people that are like a day late and they're already like a few days late. I don't remember how many. I think about three or four. So they're already a little late. They don't really think they want to go back. But they know that not going back would also mean they would be marked as renegades and uh, she'd send people after them to kill them, because she really wanted this item, the queen did. But they also end up finding a goblin, or gremlin, I'm not sure which one right now, I believe gremlin, actually, a scholar who tells them there are four more of these objects, five in total, 
and then if they can get them all, they can combine them and make one super magic artifact that can do some super crazy stuff. So at this point, Strike begins to think, maybe we can go and get the other four and unite them all, and, and then we can have this superpower kind of thing. And the idea is that he wants, and the rest of the Warband, to restore glory to the Orc race and free them from the Queen and take power away from the humans, because humans rule the land and they hate people. Um, and that's really about the story. It's very straightforward. There weren't really any big plot twists until the end, and that's not even a big plot twist. It's a small one. It wasn't really that great either. But hey, a plot twist is a plot twist. Point is, five artifacts, they get one, and they go to get the other four. That's about as complex as it gets. They go here, get the second one, here, get the third one, get the fourth one, get the fifth one, and then some crazy stuff happens that you'll have to read to find out about if you really want to know. Um, there are a few twists and turns thrown in there that I enjoyed, a few side characters. On um, a side note, I really enjoyed the characters here. Uh, every single one of them I liked. They all had different traits and qualities to them, the bad guys and the good guys. I enjoyed them all. Um, I'm kind of a sucker for anything fantasy, really, so I'm a little hesitant, once again, to recommend it as I might be slightly biased as, as a lover of fantasy. I really just enjoy anything that's fantasy. But, all in all, good fantasy book. Not great as what it's intended to be, but still a good fantasy book. Still a good book. Very long book. If you have a problem with long books, I guess don't get it then, or just dole yourself out. I'd probably give it a, about a 7.5 out of 10. Good book. Not the greatest, not the greatest fantasy book, but better than some fantasy books I've read, and very captivating at times. So I thought it was a good read. Go and pick it up if you want. It wasn't that expensive. It's a book. Everyone likes books. Well, no, they don't. That's kind of sad. Everyone should like books. You should like this book, I hope. And it was a good book. So I hope if you read it, you enjoy it, or if you read the first two chapters and hate it, oh well. Good book. Thank you.